what's good welcome to the third eye view channel my name's robert awusa the third and i go by third and i'm a multidisciplinary artist and creative in this episode i want to tell you about how i got my in my mind plus figurine on hypebeast back in 2019 i held my second solo neon art exhibition which featured pieces that represent an era that held a great importance in my life the two albums that served as soundtrack to me were Kanye's Graduation and Pharrell's In My Mind. As I planned for the show, I didn't want to create the usual merch such as hoodies or t-shirt. I wanted to create something that would trigger memories of that time and era every time you see it. Takashi Murakami is a Japanese contemporary artist that is known for his smiling flower art and transforming the iconic symbol into a collectible plush pillow. I came across this old pic of Kanye with the Murakami pillows on the floor and that's when the light bulb went off. Why not transform this nostalgic icon figure into a plush figurine? The first sample did not come out good. The clothes were too tight, hair hue was wrong, they forgot to even add the watch and the chain. <sighs> Terrible man, let's try this again. Yeah, this is way much better. And now to perfect the change. Yeah, this chain been imprinted in my brain since the first time I saw it. Probably the first time I seen an artist with multicolored diamonds. I had to make sure the details to the figure was a must. Last but not least, Pete's infamous ad lib to take it to another level. Looks like you'll be coming to the wild, wild west, nephew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now for the packaging to top it all off. Packaging is critical to me because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So I had to make sure the packaging truly captures the essence of the special collectible. I think the release went well. Best thing I've received in a while. I couldn't ask for more. Even the cosign from P made it that much special. It was only right for me to release the other versions. Upon the release of Pharrell's In My Mind album, there were three versions of the cover which were the same characters, but just with different clothing. To meet the high demand for the first release and to maintain the exclusivity of the figure, I decided to do the other two versions of the character. This time around, I added the bait camel boxes to the figurine to elevate it even more. It's the small details. Yeah, I went all out for the campaign for the release. I rented out the double log, cause I mean, just have to. <laughs> also, I added more items to the release. I added a limited edition skate deck featuring my and my mind artwork that glows in the dark. Additionally, I created a 3D AR Instagram filter of version 2 and 3 of the characters for anyone to use. And a mask filter as well. <laughs> the release for volume 2 and 3 was successful as well. Since its first release, it was a dream of mine to have a media outlet like Hypebeast to cover it. Sometimes with dreams, you have to meet it halfway to will it into existence. And for me, a DM made that into a reality. Yeah, receiving the cease and desist with the price I had to pay for that same article. I guess you can't control how a blessing comes in. Overall, I couldn't be more grateful for how everything turned out. Thank you for watching this episode. Until next time. Peace. My new name is Hush Plush. <laughs> <laughs>